The displaced people in Narib continue to suffer amid severe cuts in international aid. The following report has more details. Opportunities to live inside camps for the displaced are diminishing, with a reduction of relief aid by humanitarian organizations, which puts hundreds of thousands of displaced people in front of difficult and tiring challenges in obtaining the basic necessities of life in light of the collapsed military and economic conditions. The emergence of these humanitarian repercussions besieging the displaced prompted the creation of sustainable projects within the governorate that were presented by the British organizations Hans Muslim. With the efforts of a team of young people that provide services in the field of livelihood and the establishment of special bakeries that provide roti bread for free to many families inside the camps. This project has greatly contributed to alleviating the suffering of the students and their families by helping them save some of their children expenses and motivating them to keep seeking education and not drawing out of school. Also, we have two bakeries supported by Hans Muslim organization in Marib Governorate that produce around 20,000 true tea bread per day and distribute them to the displaced people in the Swaida camp and four other camps targeting 10,000 people daily. These projects have been going on for two years and are still continuing. From here, the journey of life begins with the preparation and processing of quantities of fruity heading towards the camps, where hundreds are waiting to get their daily share of these quantities. As many families inside the camps of Soaide, Jawin Nassim, and other camps depend mainly on these food allowances from which more than 10,000 people benefit, and now they provide a kind of stability after the interruption of food baskets for months. These meals brought by Hans Muslim organization helped us a lot, as some families cannot afford giving their children money to buy food especially during this hard time and due to the war that has been going on for almost nine years. Displaced school students also have shares of these projects, as daily meals were allocated for many displaced students, helping them to create a suitable environment to receive education until the end of the day, which contributed to alleviating the burden on poor and homeless families, covering part of the costs of their children's expenses. There is no harsher life than that of those who live in camps for the displaced, where they lack the minimum necessities of life such as water, food, and medicine, in addition to being exposed to the most severe conditions of nature, letting the fate of their lives depend on the extent of providing humanitarian aid.